having a baby the journey begins with that nine month countdown to the baby's due date but there are times when a baby arrives too soon sometimes even a month a few months early and caring for these tiniest newborns takes a very special team and today we're learning more about the small baby unit within the neonatal intensive care unit at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital Alicia Chichner is the lead neonatal nurse practitioner who helped develop and really pioneer this very special unit so start off by telling us about this unit and really what it's able to do well we identified um, that we my, the micro preemie which is a baby that is born before 27 weeks gestation is a special population it's a special baby that needs um, more specific and detailed care than um, the other preemies in the neonatal unit um, so we have developed a way of care, a space and a way of caring for these babies that allows us to support their special needs as they develop and grow. And so often we hear about, um, you know, people who maybe have babies a few weeks too soon, mm -hmm. and that's a whole different population than what you specifically are dealing with. What are the kinds of special care and services that these micro preemies need that maybe is different from the rest of that uh, neonatal unit? So a baby born before 27 weeks gestation faces a very lengthy stay in the neonatal unit, sometimes three months, sometimes four months or more. These babies are medically, medically complex, so they require very, um, a high level of intensive care. But in addition to that, they're also very underdeveloped. So we wanted to create an environment where we are going to support their growth of their body, but also the growth of their brain. We believe that by changing the environmental stimuli they receive during the care we provide, which is life-saving care and necessary, we can improve the way their brain makes connections and ultimately works throughout their life. And we talk specifically about things like making sure there's not too much light yes. and decreasing or minimizing the exposure to sound. Correct. That can be tough in a medical environment. Yeah, yeah so... Um, there's a lot of negative stimuli that a micro preemie experiences in the hospital. There are alarms going off. We turn lights on to look at the baby, to examine the baby, to do a procedure. Sometimes we have to do painful things. We have to draw labs, all kinds of things like that. Um, so what we recognized is that we can help the baby tolerate and cope with those experiences in a much better way. And we can also reduce a lot of that noise and sound and make it easier for the baby to handle those interactions. So we've um, identified times when we don't need as much noise, times we don't need to um, touch the baby, like when they're in lengthy rest periods, we can delay a, a lot of the care we need to provide. But also, when we are providing care, making sure we're doing it in a very positive way that helps the baby um, de-stress and stay calm so that um, their body can handle um, all the really hard things we have to do to them. You know, it's interesting. I think I was reading um, through some of the information that you sent over that even things like um, moving a, a baby to be held by a patient, yeah. by a parent, can be as long as a 40-minute process, taking as many as seven staff members. So many of the babies that we have in the, in the small baby unit are on a special ventilator called a high-frequency ventilator, which makes moving the patient very complicated, in addition to their very small size, of course. So um, we have worked out a process where we are able to move the baby to the parent's chest where they can provide a therapy called skin to skin or kangaroo care, which is um, a very beneficial therapy for newborns and especially preemies. This process means moving the baby from its bed onto the parent's chest. It takes about seven trained care providers and about 40 minutes <laughs> to do that process so that we don't dislodge anything. The baby, um, baby's breathing is not disrupted and everything is very safe and um, efficient. 
Um, we worked very hard in simulation labs um, to make sure we're doing that the same way every time. And our staff has become highly skilled in this process. Yeah, well, it, we've just scratched the surface here, but yes. congratulations. I know that you're the only level four yes. in, in all of West Michigan, and really you're part of a, a, a national group mm -hmm. that is really trying to provide the best possible outcomes for these tiniest little patients. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great information. And again, if you're interested in learning more about it, you can always uh, visit the website and learn more about uh, the, uh, the the micro preemies and, of course, this uh, small baby unit yes. at HelenDevosChildrens.org forward slash neonatal. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be back with more 8 West. Don't go away. Are you West?